Hello guys, what's up? I hope you'll be fine and good. I'm Suruj from the SketchUp Arca Studio. Today we have some different tutorial about the SketchUp UI and interface for the users. So you can make some special ordinary interface for yourself in SketchUp, but you don't know how. So like and subscribe our channel and like this video and let's get to work. I'm going to click on the window option in here and we have preferences in this place. SketchUp is one of the simple and funniest 3D modeling softwares in the world and I recommend this software to all of you. So when I click on the preferences in here, we have accessibilities in here. Actually, you can see three main dimension and direction lines in here like the red, green and blue. And you can convert or change this color. For example, you want to convert red axis to the uh, yellow or orange axis. So when I click on it, we have some orange color in here. Or you have some type of black color in this place. It's not matter. You can convert it to the black color. About the green axis, you can turn your green axis to the uh, some color like the red, for example, and click OK. Or for the blue axis, you can change it to the pink and press OK. As you can see, we have some changes in here. After all of these changes, if you don't like them, you can click on your reset all and turn it back to the default option. The second window related to the applications. Actually, you can see this. We have default image editor in here. And you can choose your JPG or PNG file to create your own default image editor. The next option related to the compatibility and it's depending on your mouse wheel side like the invert, move invert or you can turn it off and the bounding box only for the uh, clicking and selecting all of the group boxes. The third option and it's really important in here related to the drawing. For the drawing option you have click a style in here like the auto detect or lasso direction. The click style, I prefer to choose auto de detect all of the time. And for the lasso direction, I prefer to use counterclockwise crossing selection. Another option related to the files, and you can control all of your files in here. Like the models, components, materials, styles, textures, and other type of things. Another window called general. And it depends on your serving, checking for problems, warning messages, and other type of things in here. For example, if you turn off the show welcome window in here at the startup option, you will not see the welcome window at the first. But I want to see it all of the time. Or in the saving mode, you have create backup and auto save. If you turn off the auto save, you will not have any type of saves at the minutes and you can turn it to the manually how you want to take some auto saves for example every five minutes or if you use low config systems you can increase this number to the 10 minutes or seven minutes after all of them you can click on the reset all warning messages and it will reset all of your warning messages in this place Another option called graphics. Graphics depends on your lines, edges, and the quality of your 3D model. If you use 4x, you can increase it to the uh, 16x, and you will see this warning in here about the experience of the anti-aliasing values. And if you press yes on your keyboard and press OK, you will have some changes on your screen. For example, the quality of the uh, smooth lines in here, but it use more of your memory and your RAM card. So I prefer to use the uh, 4X in here or 8X, but I prefer to use 4X in here. You can see your graphic card details in here. For example, I use NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 PCIe, and it's the 4 gigabytes and other type of things like that another option called shortcuts and it's really important to you for example you want to create some type of shortcut for creating the groups 
so you can come downstairs and for example for the uh, I don't know maybe edit close groups or components or for example only you want groups you can type gr and you have edit or make group you can click on the add shortcut and press g or you can hold ctrl and g so now you can click on this option in here to add it and press ok so what happened when i create this type of thing in here like that it doesn't need you click on it right click and click on the make group this time if you only check it and press ctrl g it will convert to the group so turn back to the preferences you can see in here we have templates you can change your templates immediately and it's not depend on your system or you can escape from the software i use simple with the meta unit you can change it to the woodworking interior or 3d printing and the labs option related to the workspace if you add all of these adjustable things in here but you get remorse you can click on the reset workspace in here and press ok i hope this tutorial was useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for your support and goodbye